Hello, my name is Cora Flora and today I feel inspired to flow a video for you about how to have an optimal experience when shamanic journeying. So I'm not speaking about sober journeying, although that's, that's very powerful and this information will help. And as well, I'm not speaking about traditional journeying, for example, ayahuasca and somewhere like Peru. All of that has very traditional support systems in place to help you, although this information will help. I'm speaking more specifically about the use of entheogens, plant medicines, substances that are, in truth, available, especially to younger people at this time. And because the legality is in question for a lot of these things, first of all, I just want to say I'm not condoning doing anything illegal. Do what is right and in harmony with the laws wherever you are. But if you do feel inspired to do something and you feel okay about it and perhaps you have a group of people with you that you trust that you feel inspired to explore consciousness or love or healing in deeper ways thanks to some of these things which like I said are available to young people and the truth is that many of us will do them so why not have information to help you have an optimal experience that will help you genuinely connect with that divine in you and experience true healing that will create lasting blessings and the full blossoming of your greatest potential in your life. So here we go, here are my best tips. So number one is intention. It's very important to cultivate an intention of what you wish to experience, um, the healing you wish to create, the guidance you wish to receive, or you can just say, may this flow whatever serves my highest good. It's really up to you and your connection with the divine to decide what will serve you best at this time and what you really want to receive out of the experience because in our daily lives at any moment this is important. However, when you are amplifying exponentially your power and the power to flow with energy and consciousness using these substances or entheogens or plant medicines, it's even more helpful to cultivate intention and do everything you can to harmonize with that intention. Which brings me to my next point, which is set and setting. So it's very important that you cultivate a sacred space where you feel safe spiritually and physically. So spiritually, what works for me is burning sage, saying prayers of protection, maybe having some Palo Santo on, on hand as well, bringing in good lighting that feels really like cozy, supportive, um, calling in prayers, surrounding myself in spiritual white light that's really important, and surrounding the space in white light, and um, also having symbols that represent things that are divine to me that will help be reminders and anchor points to help me remember and just create that field, that intentional field of connection and guidance and support. As well, crystals are really great. They carry certain energies and, and are able to anchor in frequencies that will support you. And likewise with crystals, you can always ask them, please help me operate my greatest potential and they will help you. Physically, it's very important that you take care of your human in every way. Uh, so making sure that you feel physically safe. So whatever it is to you, that might, for me, that often means being in a space where I can lock the door, being in a space where I can also open the windows and get fresh air if I want, being in a space where I have fresh water, where I have high vibrational foods like fresh fruit, raw chocolate, uh, salads, as well as grounding, comforting foods, whatever it is that feels like it will really nourish me. Water, hydration is very important, so having really high quality water, maybe some coconut water as well for the extra electrolytes to help the body process different states of being and feel supported and nourished during that. And of course, the basics of having a great bathroom, toilet paper, and uh, possibly the capacity to have a salt water bath or a shower that will be very healing, especially in that state. So those are the things I encourage for creating a sacred space. Number three is who you go on a journey with. It's very important that you journey with people who not only love you and want you to be your best, but also love you and will support you if you need to face things that might be really challenging and are able to unconditionally hold you no matter what flows through. Because if you don't feel that safety and trust, you're not going to be able to open up deeper with people or if you do it might be a bit of a, a challenging experience so I, I really recommend that you, you journey with people who you love who you trust who love and trust you 
and really set the intentions together to help each other no matter what happens because very often entheogens, substances, plant medicines can open up great expanses of divine love, light, connection, consciousness that are amazing and brilliant and like glorious but often with all that light we suddenly have the capacity to face our shadows or to work through the emotions around traumas or process experiences that we were never able to process before so it's really helpful that you have people with you that can help you in that process or you can help them in that process and just know that you're in it together and there to unconditionally love and support each other and it will help it be worth it oh something i forgot to say as well is great music super super important i really recommend making a playlist of spiritual music inspiring music whatever it is that works for you that will help enhance your journey because that will deeply influence the emotional energetics and the consciousness of what happens so it's very important to have really good music and finally integration integration is vital so that the experience isn't just a cool dream that you had and then you forgot the next day but it becomes something that you connected with that expanded your perspective and deepened your love and your capacity to be your true self but then you take the steps to integrate it into your daily life and walk it into your reality moving forward so tools that i recommend to support integration are journaling so journaling about the experience how it made you feel you can even bring the journal during your experience if you want to anchor in inspiration that you receive or perspectives that flow through that'll help you to yeah remember that it's that it's something that's really flowing through and and especially honoring your intention at the beginning it's really important to honor what flows through because it is relevant I also recommend creatively expressing things that you feel like you may want to do some art or draw or maybe flow some music around what you experience some dance whatever it is that'll help again get that energy flowing through you and then have those reminders and the ability to connect with that again and again and again and weave it more consistently into your reality is really helpful as well yeah it just really helps with doing the healing work that will help you to live the vibrations that you experience and the illuminations that you received on a daily basis you may also feel inspired to deepen your experience of therapy counseling because very often these experiences can bring up things that are like really deep and having a therapist to talk about it help you unpack a professional who has expertise with healing these things can be very 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 helpful to help you to walk forward with the right support to live your greatest potential so i hope this helps uh, one day i'd love to make a video about my experiences uh, but I'm not sure about the legality of it, of sharing on YouTube. So I'm gonna have to research that a little bit and then I will see about sharing more. But I wish you amazing journeys, no matter how you choose to live. You're amazing, you're a divine being having a human experience and I completely honor and have a deep amount of respect and appreciation for all the plant medicines and substances, the ent entheogens, which help us to experience more of our divinity, more of our love, more of our truth. They are amazing catalysts and I feel like, you know, whether or not certain ones are legal, if they do flow into my life, for me personally, I often consider it. If it flows in synchronistically and it feels aligned and the right moments open up to explore, like I feel like these things are here for a reason and a lot of them offer amazing access points to our true selves and our essence and our purpose. So. I mean, of course, honor what feels right for you legally, but if you do feel inspired to do something, I hope this information helps you and supports you in having an amazing experience that connects you with who you truly are and supports you in living, creating, and sharing even more heaven on earth.